Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the relevant definitions and using animated scenarios with questions and answers. In this video, we'll cover rules 14 and 15, which address avoiding contact and acquiring right of way. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rules 14 and 15 are in part two of the rules, which cover situations when boats meet or are about to meet. Section B of part two contains four rules that limit the actions of right-of-way boats. In simple terms, right-of-way boats must avoid contact, must give boats room to keep clear when acquiring right-of-way and changing course, and in circumstances when overlapped, must not sail above their proper course. We'll cover rules 14 and 15 in this session and rules 16 and 17 in a separate session. Here is rule 14. Take a moment to read it. The rule says that a boat shall avoid contact with another boat if reasonably possible. It also says that if you are a right-of-way boat or entitled to room, you don't need to take action to avoid contact until it is clear that the other boat is not keeping clear or giving room. We've covered the definition of keep clear previously. Take a moment to read the definition of room. If a boat is entitled to room, she must be given the space she needs, for example, to avoid contact with another boat or to sail around the mark without touching it. And she must be able to do so in a seaman-like way, for example, without making crash tacks or last-second turns. Room and right-of-way are not exactly the same concepts, and we'll cover more about room in future sessions. For now, just remember that if you have right-of-way or in, are entitled to room, you still have to avoid collisions, but only when it's clear that the other boat is not giving you that right-of-way or room. Let's highlight a few key points about Rule 14. First, the rule is important because preventing damage or injury is more important than preserving right-of-way. Second, avoiding collisions doesn't take anything away from a right-of-way boat. If you are a right-of-way boat and need to act to avoid contact, you assert your rights by protesting the other boat, not by letting contact occur. Third, although it doesn't say it here, if there is damage or injury in a collision, both boats might be disqualified. We'll discuss this more when we talk about Rule 43. Rule 14 was revised for 2021. The markup is shown here. One change clarified that a boat entitled to mark room must stay within the mark room to which she is entitled. The other change moved the discussion of exoneration to a new rule, Rule 43. Let's conclude our discussion of Rule 14 with two cases from the World Sailing Casebook. There's a link to the cases in the salesing.com post that accompanies this video. In Case 26, a right-of-way boat was penalized for not avoiding contact with a giveaway boat. The right-of-way boat claimed she didn't see the other boat and thus couldn't act to avoid. The lesson is that not seeing another boat doesn't excuse you from avoiding contact if it is possible to do so. Case 99 gives an example of where it might not be possible to avoid contact. In this case, a port tack boat was out of control in high winds and a starboard boat is traveling downwind at high speed. The starboard boat made course changes to avoid, but did not attempt a crash jibe. The starboard boat was exonerated because avoiding contact would have taken extreme measures that might have caused damage on their own. 
Here is Rule 15. Take a moment to read it. The rule says that when a boat acquires right-of-way, she shall initially give the other boat room to keep clear, unless she acquires right-of-way because of the other boat's actions. This rule prevents a boat from gaining an unfair advantage by gaming the use of right-of-way in a way that makes it impossible for the other boat to comply. Let's take a look at three Rule 15 scenarios. Here's the first one. Watch what happens. Green approaches the starting line and sails between blue and yellow. Green expects yellow to keep clear as the windward boat. There is no contact. Which boat should promptly take penalty turns? Green should take a penalty. Green broke two different rules, one regarding blue and one regarding yellow. Can you see which two rules Green violated? Green broke Rule 11 by not keeping clear of Blue. Blue is the right-of-way boat since she is to leeward of Green. Thus Rule 11 applies. Green got too close so that Blue couldn't change course without immediately making contact. Green also broke Rule 15 by not initially giving Yellow room to keep clear. When green overlaps yellow to leeward, green acquires right-of-way. However, because she is so close to yellow, she didn't initially give yellow room to keep clear, since yellow couldn't change course to avoid without making contact. Let's watch the next scenario. Yellow and blue are sailing upwind. Yellow hails tacking and immediately tacks. There is contact just after yellow reaches a close haul to course. Blue protests. Yellow alleges she gave Blue plenty of room by hailing. Which boat should promptly take penalty turns? Yellow should take a penalty. Let's go through the sequence of which rules apply. Yellow did not reach starboard tack until just before contact at position 3, so rule 13, tacking, was in effect until just before contact. As soon as Yellow completed her tack to starboard, Rule 10 and, of course, Rule 15 begin to apply. So Yellow broke Rule 15 since she did not initially give Blue room to keep clear when getting on to starboard tack. Here's another question. Does Yellow's hail make any difference in this situation? The answer is no. The rules do not recognize hailing as a way to avoid giving room to keep clear. Here's the last scenario. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind. Blue acquires an overlap at position 2 and yellow protests immediately. There is no contact. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? Blue should take a penalty. Blue broke Rule 15 by not initially giving Yellow room to keep clear, since Yellow could not head up to avoid Blue without making contact. Here's another question. Why should Yellow protest immediately? In this case, Yellow's protest indicates that Yellow did not initially have room to keep clear. If Yellow delays her protest until later, a protest committee might reason that Yellow initially felt she did have enough room. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.